Well, it's finally summer in Germany, you know what that means. Correct, it's time for the Dark Throne shirt. Hey people, what's up? Um, finished Black Metal tutorial today, finally! A video I've been looking forward to a long time actually, because I love Finnish Black Metal. So if you're new to this channel, what is a tutorial video? We talk about the genre, uh, about the, you know, the music, and then we write a song or play a full song in the style of Finnish Black Metal today. So, let's start with the guitars, as always, probably. Um, Finnish Black Metal guitar stuff is... Okay, it's, it's not unique, but um, when you hear a Black Metal song from Finland, you can tell that it's from Finland somehow. I don't know why, actually. Okay, we try to find out why today. <laughs> Farvan, promising a lot of stuff. One of the most important things in Finnish black metal is, at least in my opinion, it's more melodic than uh, typical black metal or black metal from Norway, for instance. Even Sweden has that kind of melodic vibe to it, but Finland uh, is the king of melodic stuff. And I'm not talking about, you know, happy funny melodies, I'm talking about the really cold and uh, satanic evil melodies I love so much. Take, for example, uh, every, uh, every, every Zargeist song, or Horna song, even though, okay, Horna is kind of a rocky band, it's more rock and roll stuff, I like them, or Behexen, you know, and that's the Holy Trinity, the unholy trinity of Finland. So what does it mean? It means we play, we can finally play the, the chords we like so much. We weren't allowed in the in the last um, tutorial videos. I'm talking about these. Wow, I'm not in a good mood, I guess. Uh, I think that's a Horna riff. Yes, one of my favorite Horna riffs goes like that. <laughs> Now you know what I mean. It, it sounds more, oh, there's something going on in the riff. And that's, that's Finnish black metal. And we use a lot of single note stuff, you know, where you, re regular black metal bands, regular, sorry for that term, play something like this. <laughs> We can maybe play something like this. For example. For example. Just an example. You know, it's I didn't prepare. I never prepare for tutorial videos. I just, you know, turn on the camera and talk about stuff and play whatever comes in my mind. That's basically everything you need to know about Finnish guitar stuff, you know, single note stuff, maybe a little more rock and roll. Uh, oh, what's that Behexen riff? That's a Behexen riff. Um, it's maybe important to, to mention because uh, it's it shows that it, it, it can even get more rocky. It's um, a distant call from darkness from uh, Behexen um, and it's on the split with Horna. It goes like that. <laughs> So, see? It's more rock and roll and stuff. Of course, um, other countries like uh, Germany, Poland and uh, Norway have a lot of rock and roll stuff, a lot of headbang stuff like this, but um, I think Finland has the most and that makes... That's a totally Finnish thing for me, you know, rocking on the guitar. That's basically guitar stuff, you know? The melody, the melody uh, thing also counts for the bass, you know? So when you write a bass line, don't hesitate to uh, to use some melodies there as well. <clears throat> yeah, that's all I have to say about the bass, you know. And the drums, regular black metal drums, as always, like blast beats, the d d d beat. No, I'm not a drummer. Sorry. 
and uh, some beats for the slow stuff, of course. What Finnish black metal also needs, believe it or not, is bad sound quality. Like, I mean, listen to Horna, for example. Most of their albums sound like it's recorded in the basement or something, even though they're a big band. So, bad sound quality seems to be important. Hey, listen, I got something new. It makes the it makes the sound of my songs more more powerful and more deep and more dynamic and stuff. Wanna listen? Yeah, sure. Show me. Yeah. Take a listen. So what do you think? Yeah, you know, um, I'm, I'm not familiar with the Beatles that much, but uh, I think it's a cool cover, so good job. Wait, I, I, know, what, I know what you mean. Maybe, maybe you will like this. Ah, it's finished black metal. Okay, that's uh, about the music, I guess. Sorry. Uh, I gotta make this quick because your uh, attention span is about 15 minutes or something. So, next topic. So now that we know everything about the music, I think it's time to write lyrics. In Finnish, of course. Because that's the only true way how to write lyrics for a Finnish black metal song. And I think I already got everything I need to write Finnish lyrics. A cat! Yeah, kitty. Write some Finnish lyrics. Write some lyrics. Good boy. Goodbye. So, I guess we have all the lyrics, and um, now it's time to, um, as in the Burzum tutorial, we need to present ourselves to the world. You know, we gotta show the world that we are absolutely, you know, we're not people you have to, you can't joke with and stuff. You know, we're, we're, we're Finnish black metal heads. Okay? We're the most true of all, and we gotta show them. And the perfect way to do this is um, using the black and white. Filter. Do you call it filter? I don't know. To me it's an effect or just a reduction of color. And I'm not talking about this, not gray. I'm talking about only black and white, like this. No matter how your uh, original picture looks like, the black and white will make it look true evil. So yeah, as I said, um, it doesn't matter how the picture looks like, just, um, uh, just make it black and white and it will look truly evil, no matter. So, let's make a picture. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're done. I think we're finished. So now it's time to listen to the song.
Okay, if you're still here, wow, welcome to the to the end of the video club. You can uh, watch this one, or this one, or subscribe to Rob Scallon. And see you <laughs> next time.